What is up, y'all? It's Drifter Yo, and uh, just playing some Need for Speed, man. Made a RX-7 drift car. Um, didn't put a rear bumper on it because I like having the being able to choose like custom exhaust <clears throat> on the back. But um, Need for Speed will be getting an update before the end of November, hopefully sometime soon. They're going to be uh, adjusting the AIs. Uh, drivability or to catch up for the AI they're also adding neon lights um, also like uh, some other stuff they're going to be doing you'll be getting Kim blocks Mustang if you've completed that quest and also uh, the Lamborghini from um, the outlaw dude I can't think of his name right now I don't want to say it wrong but uh, they're also doing like some other minor tweaks man like adding vinyls to the game they'll be adding like a mirror effect so like if you're trying to customize like one side of the car you'll be able to duplicate it on the other side so just some cool features man but anyway I figured I'd get y'all some drifting in my uh, RX-7 man like I've been loving this car here lately man it's probably one of the better drift cars in the game other than the uh, forward focus RS I mean, I'm not shitting on like, you know, the Nissan Silvia or the 180SS, but the RX-7 definitely does drift pretty damn good. So, um, go ahead on up here to one of my favorite drift races, the Wadada Kalar, and, uh, Got 336,000, you know, that's not too bad. A friend Ryan Cooper on the top, man, like, he's just a fucking boss at this game. And then my buddy Coaster Logan, um, second on that. But, uh, right now, dude's, like, killing my messages, man. <laughs> Trying to just, you know, make a video. But I really haven't been making videos, man. Like, I got a lot on my mind, you know, and whatnot, man. Uh, <sighs> not having a job, had to leave the job that I had just a bunch of BS you know working on that job hopefully I won't be drifting like shit you know on here or anything like that but I've been trying to average out above uh, 300,000 with the um, RX-7 on this course right here man and it's pretty much probably man like this car can get like some pretty high drift scores probably because of the angles that you're able to get with it or whatever I'm not sure right now I'm not doing uh, too good on this but um hopefully we'll make up for it <clears throat> for me when it comes to making videos man like I've noticed man that I do play a lot better like you know when I'm not trying to talk or you know in chat man like I do better for some reason like I don't know that's just how I game uh, shit wasn't sure what that was man like it showed a bunch of cars right there and then when I went to drift past them man like he wasn't there but yeah I'm drifting like shit right now man like I can't fucking concentrate but uh so Normally, like right here, man. You know, like I'm whipping out about a hundred thousand on this before I even hit this straightaway, man. You can manage I drift with this car pretty good, as you can see right there, man. Um, pretty good at drifting those uh, big sweeping turns as well, man. Like you know, you don't have to use any nitrous on this car and shit like that, man. To me, using nitrous to fucking maintain a drift is just fucking retarded. I mean, because there's nobody drifting in real life, man, that's fucking using nitrous, man. I can probably pretty much guarantee that. You know, like the fucking professionals, man, you know, they're not hooking their cars up with nitrous. They just have a shit ton of horsepower. <laughs> but, uh... This game definitely is good, man. Like, I like the drift physics on most of the cars in this game. Uh, you know, some of the cars, you know, uh, the drift physics obviously, you know, aren't as good. But, I mean, the RX-7, man. Oh, wow, I just lost my fucking drift score there just because I tapped the fucking wall. Are you serious? 
I mean, that, that's the bullshit, though, man. Like, if you tap a wall and maintain your drift, like, it shouldn't deduct the fucking drift points from, from you, man. Like, I mean, in D1, you know, like, they got their ass ends, you know, like, all up on the fucking wall, you know, and stuff like that, man, you know, and they don't fucking deduct them as long as they hold the drift, man, like, they seriously need to pass that shit. I mean, you know, like, I could see, you know, like, if I plowed into the fucking wall, you know, or, like, stop my fucking drift, man, you know, like, cut over into the wall or something like that, man, and, you know, then deduct points, you know, like, I don't understand it, yo, but hopefully, you know, that's something that they'll fucking fix, you know, because, like, some collisions, man, like, I've hit, like, hit onto the wall and, like, it still counts, like, the drift points and shit, and then somewhere, I, you just, like, barely scrape it, but you're still drifting. And you lose your drift points. Like, I don't... I don't understand that. And this isn't going to be too bad of a run. I mean, definitely, you know, obviously not my best. But, you know, as you can see, man, like, the RX-7 is easy to drift. I'll show y'all how I have my RX-7, like, set up at the uh, end of the video. Man, I was hoping I could have broke 300,000 for y'all. But, like I said, man, just got a lot on my mind right now. You know, like, my, my mind isn't right you know just i mean constantly shit that i'm thinking about you know and stuff like that so i do apologize if i sound you know like i'm out of you know not my normal cheerful self man and stuff but you know in due time you know like i mean i guess i get better man like i definitely want to you know i'm definitely looking forward to the updates of this game you know i mean you know they're already adding stuff within the first month you know, such as neon, new vinyls, you know, and, and whatnot, man, and can only imagine, you know, like, what's to come for this game, you know, hopefully new body kits, new cars, um, new ways to customize your cars, man, I mean, you know, that, that would be sick, man, that would definitely be sick, but, uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I have my RX-7 set up, so, as far as performance parts, man, like, I have all elite parts on it except for the drift tires um all my drift cars have the blue uh like i guess performance drift tires on them to me that seems to be like the best drift tires uh for the cars in the game and and whatnot i mean that's just uh my preference as far as the handling style man like what i do is i take this bar about halfway and then i'll go down and i'll turn the drift stability assist off but I'll leave the braking drift assist on. That's just my preference on how I drift. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, the RX-7 is definitely a good drift car. Like I said, man, like I was playing it early and I was averaging. I mean, I did like five runs back-to-back -back getting over 300,000 on uh, that course. But um, anyway, man, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll try to make more, you know, like once I get back to feeling my normal self, you know, and whatnot. But, um... Anyway, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel, man. Like, I'll be bringing you some more Need for Speed videos. Try to keep y'all updated on everything. But, uh, anyway, in the meantime, y'all, peace out.